Okay, so you decided to make your ham license or you want to make your uh, ham radio license. Well, I highly suggest that you go to hamstudy.org and create you an account. And if you want to donate, you can. And I highly suggest that as well because they have put a lot of time and effort into doing this. It's all free. And you, uh, obviously your first set of licenses is your technician license. Uh, your second is your general. Then your third set is your amateur extra. Well, I'm currently in my technician. So like I said, you create an account. Go to technician. You can study your flashcards. You can read questions. And you can take a practice exam. And... You can see every, all the questions that you've been asked and all that. And then you can click this little dot here. That shows you all your practice tests. Well, when I first started, I made 14 out of 35. Well, and then within five days, I've come up to a passing grade, or well beyond passing there. And then these two right here, is what my wife did. She took the test two times, not studying the first thing, and this is what she got, got with. 22 out of 35 and 21 out of 35. So it's not hard as in what people think it is. Um, but I, I already have a practice session, a practice test in, sh in session. So we'll go ahead and click on it. And you get asked 34 questions and you'll never take the, the same test twice. Now you'll have s several of the questions to be asked in it but you'll never take the same test twice. If you miss a question it'll be thrown in, in and another test not necessarily a back to back. But you know I get this question all the time. I mean, you know, it's just randomized, but uh, it says, which of the following is common practice during net operations to get the immediate attention of the net control station when reporting an emergency? Well, obviously it's C. You, you got to say, or you, you want to say priority or emergency, followed by your call sign. That way if through in or yapping or whatever, you know, and the other people hear one of the two of these words, they know to shut up because something's, you know, major coming across the waves here. So that's that answer. And then uh, the last question here, which of the following is a valid U.S. amateur radio station call sign? Automatically, you're looking for five, for five here. So that would be B. So it's one, two, three, four, five. You see all these other ones, that one's four and that one's and that one's just way out. So the correct answer for the U.S. amateur radio station call sign will be a total of five <coughs> uh, in conjunction with uh, numbers and alphanumeric. So we're going to grade my exam to see if I passed or failed here. So I'm going to come up here and I passed. 33 out of 35. I got a 94%. And all we do is just review my answers, and that shows me the the ones that I missed. Like I said, this is uh, now day seven studying. And I don't see which ones I missed yet. Probably two. right here. Okay, which of the following devices will circuit change an alternating current into a varying direct current signal? I said transformer, so it would probably show the correct answer. Rectifier. Yep. <coughs> I know that. I don't know why I clicked them. This must have just been read it and just clicked it. And then this one here. Which of the following connectors is most suitable for frequencies above 400 megahertz. 
a type in connector. And this here is common because PL259, that's the common connector on the uh, <laughs> on uh, VHF or what have you, but uh, common mistake. Just once again, show the correct answer. A type in connector. Then we're just going to go here to explain this in a little bit more detail. But yeah, there you have it. Uh, like I said, this is all free. And it's very good. And like, like, like once you study and get up to date, you know, get, get up to par on, on everything, and you want to go take your, uh, your technician license. So this shows you what I did just now, right there. July 27th. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But, uh, okay, you got this. You're passing the practice test and all that, which is actually going to be the test you're taking. Um, I would suggest to go here and click on license education and training which it's um, ARRL org and then as you can see here find a license class, find an exam session and you have all these others so you want to find an exam session click on learn more And as you can see here, to optimize your search, less information entered in the search field will return more information in the list. So you type in your uh, your zip code and you put 250 miles or whatever and do a search. And if nothing pops up, then what you'd want to do from there would be to go online and look up... Um, amateur radio clubs or what have you and usually the clubs have someone in there that offers tests or at least knows knows where you can go take them and they're usually uh, uh, every month you know one day a month and the one in my current area is um, second Saturday of every month but there you go I hope I helped a little bit um, with those who want to take their ham license uh, or to get into ham radio and, and you know just to, to start after amateur radios like I said I highly suggest you come to hamstudy.org make you an account and uh, study the flashcards you want to study the flashcards here To, um, what type of electrical component stores energy in a magnetic field alright so whether you get it or wrong or whatever you know I'm just going to say inductor here and it's you know correct so we're going to go on down uh, who may uh, who may be the control operator of a station communicating through an amateur satellite or space station so I'm gonna go ahead and miss this one completely just to be doing it. Uh, so now, show the correct answer. Any amateur whose license privileges allow them to transmit on the satellite uplink frequency. So look, okay, well, okay, well, I still don't understand that. Once again, click on the uh, explain tab and just read all that and you just go to your next one but like I said get on here play around 
study your flashcards, and do your practice test. And then you'll be you'll be uh, passing with uh, flying colors before you know it. If I know I can do it, anybody can do it. But thank you, and have a great day.